Days 61 through 70 of the 100 Day Project 2023, I made uh, some more of my fabric books and did a lot of stitching and made it some variety of different painted papers and stitched those in. So let's take a look at some of these. They're not in any particular order. Uh, this one kind of stepped out of my normal color, <laughs> my color zone. I like to use a lot of pinks. And then here's a couple little bitty ones. Back to the same design. Um, everything is fabric, mostly hand stitched. A few of these I might have done a few things with the sewing machine, but for the most part, everything was hand stitched. And I like this sort of floppy feel to it. I suppose if you wanted to make some, you could absolutely reinforce the fabric and make it stronger. But I just really like the fact that it's different and not, not perfect. <laughs> um, this one I actually did some hand stitching. Um, some words, uh, little little letters I stamped onto the fabric. I kind of like the way that looked. It's a little dark. I don't know. I kind of like it, but sometimes you get an idea and then you do it and you're like, eh, maybe that wasn't quite what I had in mind. Maybe a little bit lighter. Maybe if I did the teal blue, that would have been kind of pretty. And then here's um, a yellow. One. I do love French knots. A little bit of lace. Tiny, tiny bit of sari ribbon. Where the ribbon comes together in a knot, these are great to cut and then um, just cut out and use <laughs> as an embellishment piece, which I think is pretty cool. All right, some more there. This is from a tea towel. Some more little stitching. More paper. Book paper, painted papers. This was also from a tea towel. Tea towels are great because a lot of them, if you can find them made of linen, they're really nice. Um, this one was done with a cantha quilt, a little piece I cut. And then I complemented this. I was trying to figure out coloring wise. And I love this kind of vintagey, I don't know, brownish, yellowy color, orangey color really, with this pink. And then I loved how this all came together. And then this rust colored, this is a... Um, a ribbon, a piece of ribbon. It's kind of soft. The words failing me at the moment. And then I did some French knots on there and a little bit of lace. And then again, I took a piece of that little sari ribbon knot. I just couldn't even have made a piece that looked like that. So I definitely saved those. And I love this piece of vintage um, lace here. This actually came from an old bonnet. And then I did a little clip and a piece of sorry ribbon there and some more painted papers. Now, the other thing that I did this month was I experimented with more slow stitching, less the paper, and I wanted to create some pouches. And the, this was my first one. So this was the first pouch that I did. And this is the one side and did a, a lot of seed stitching. Went on vacation and I f did a lot of stitching in the car, which was perfect because it was a long, long drive. And then I did um, one side like this, and then the other side, I did the stitching a little bit differently. And so more of just a variety of, there's three different color threads here. And then I made this little piece with just a bunch of little French knots. And then when I wrapped it around and stitched it, so it would just kind of be a little, like a little tag on the side. And then for the closure, this is um, handmade cording with sari ribbon. And then I liked, this is a drawstring, so it closes, you pull it and then it closes. But I did both of these different. So this side is a piece of linen. And then this side is a piece of coffee stained cotton muslin. Now it really wasn't planned that way. I just didn't have enough that I had taken with me on my trip. So I thought, well, I'll just use what I have. And I actually kind of like that both sides are different. And then I stitched the edges up with a straight stitch, just a, a running stitch on both sides. And so it, you know, it's a pouch and it opens up. So that's pretty cool. All right, I do love that. Now the second one's a little bit different. This one is a little bit smaller. And for this one, I cut pieces of cantha, dyed fabrics, a bunch of different um, pieces of fabric. And I stitched them onto a piece of cotton muslin. And so that created the base of the pouch. 
and I used a variety of threads. Some of these I had different colors going together. And then I also did this strip here of French knots, which I just love that. Now this one I did a little differently. Instead of doing um, a running stitch, I did a blanket stitch. The blanket stitch is what closes that up. And I actually kind of like that, I think, a little bit better. Um, it, this pouch was a little smaller, so I wanted to make sure that if I did the running stitch, it would have kind of taken away from the pouch. And then again, on this one, I did this a little differently. The closure here is still a drawstring, but it goes all the way around. So this one is two pieces that are separate. And then this one, I did one full piece. And I just use a piece of linen. This was actually cut from an old pillowcase I found at a thrift store. Great find. And then again, the handmade um, rope with sari ribbon. And then I just did some more um, closing stitches here at the top. So I really love this one too. And um, so that is my 100 day project from um, days 61 through 70. And I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, let me know.